Thank you. So take a few minutes and jump into Canvas and go through some of this. We've got some more information about um, rubrics in general, the different types of rubrics on the page. Um, there's resources, there's holistic rubrics, there's analytic rubrics, there's whatever that other third kind is, single point, primary trade, all kinds of good rubric fun there. And another thing that people will try to do sometimes is in using backwards design, when we start off with our learning outcomes, if we can tie the rubrics back to the learning outcomes for the course, this is a good way to use rubrics to just sort of, as a check for yourself, am I hitting the points that I want the students to get throughout the course? Which points am I hitting? And then you can do an analysis of that with the rubrics. All right, so take some time and jump into Canvas. We'll play around, and we're going to come back and have some more questions in a few minutes. Can I fight for that one point? 
let you know that you flip to the next grade, but you can do discretionary B. Yeah, but even if they think rate, but then you have just the grade book has a problem because we have one grade that we don't ever want to show Yeah. Which is the participation, the top participation, and it's kind of a fun point. You know, it's, it's, it's based on our impressions. And some, some things are more analytical when you get into the end, and all these things are more. But it's also a place where you can structure. But when you get to the end, in order for them to see their final course grade, you can leave it muted to the end. But when you finally want to release their grades, if you are going to show one of your kids, you have to have release that one. So that's what I've been doing is just muting it until I've actually totally assigned them to put them on the back of the center and everything. And then I'll find the last one. So I'm going to go back and look at them. Yeah. Kind of undermine. It's worth it to a so that whole idea is to kind of communicate to the end is a great value. Because when it's an assignment that it's that's okay. published but muted, it, it, um, it hides their percentage, it hides their running goals. It says the running goals are not accurate. And it just gives it some of the offerings and what it would be in line with the videos. And yeah, it's coming right now, but it's time later that we don't have to spend doing the individual comments. So it might not be worth it this coming semester, because I'm not going to spend more than that. Something like it. Yeah, it is. Don't worry. It's actually one of the major ones. Sort of part of this thing. Right. Anyway, just you know, it's the reality that it is. Five points. 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 Five
so they don't. Oh, okay. So it doesn't even it doesn't it's not even affect the course level. It's just for the rubric. Got well, it. it's just that one rubric. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and then we're confirming that I wasn't crazy about that. Um, <laughs> that actually is a problem. Another not problem. I I recorded those that screenshot video of me setting it up, and then I recorded a much longer one of me having all these problems that I intend to send to the Canvas people and say, look, watch a teacher set up a rubric once, because then you can find any problems with this procedure. And hopefully they'll fix it. I mean, I'm optimistic. They seem nice. So. I, I think the problem is they they write the software, they don't teach classes. You know, so they think it's good, but when it you know kind of hits the rock the rock, so reality. Uh, we discover the, the problems, and it's our duty to send that back to them, and then hopefully they will work. I, I'd be optimistic. So, any other thoughts, questions on rubrics? Well, it rubrics is and it's How do you connect your rubric? How do you connect your rubric to an assignment? Um, so under assignments, we have an assignment. I don't know what this one is, but let's do it. There is generally a fine number of arms in the transcription number. John, it's not very intuitive. The lists are at the very bottom of our activity sheet. Unfortunately, it's not very intuitive. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a picture of the assignment. Yeah. Assignment, existing assignment, save assignment, select it. Below the assignment description, select plus rubric. And that's what I'm looking for right Yeah, so you have to get out of the edit. Oh, out of the edit. I was just saying, 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 I So I I, I opened up a rubric and I selected the option where you can uh, add your own comments instead yeah. of selecting pre yeah and so what happens is it, it gets rid of the options that you've created um, so if you select that all of the five points four points three points two points that goes away and it'll just turn into an empty box that you then, when you're grading, enter your comments into, and then that's what will show up for the students. So you no longer are able to choose five, four, three, two, one points? Right. Right, so you get to say, like, oh, this was really strong, but your conclusion was a little vague, four out of five, or okay. something like that. Which isn't really a rubric anymore, is it? Right. Well, I could see you using it if, for some reason, like, like Dan was saying about about that timeline kind of so thing or the, the, the continuum yeah. that you can have on a like a Word doc or something, have your your you know pre written feedback and just copy paste. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but but it does if you're worried 
for that one yeah. particular thing of that continuum, sure. then you would do that. Yeah, and if you're, I mean, you can still create the rows, right? So you have maybe right. row, like, so grade for intro, grade for body, grade for conclusion, and then, you know, three out of three, three out of three, three out of three. So more personalized feedback, yeah. it's the same criteria. Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right, hey, we're out of time. Thank you guys for coming. Um, if you would, please take a moment to fill out the little evaluation sheet that helps us make the world better. Um, thank you. And if you have not yet grabbed a schedule for your office and for your friends, and members, um, if you don't want to grab one, you might have more people. Um, Please help me thank Daniel for coming in and sharing his adventure with Rebecca. Encore, encore.